Hey, Rafael, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How was your day? Uh, I feel sick. I have oh. a headache, a uh, general pain, oh. and I, I think that I have a little fever. Uh, just that I get my COVID vaccine. Ah, uh, exactly. Yes, yes, yes. I don't feel good, but... Yeah, it's very common after the vaccine to, to have some effects, headaches, fever, things like this. Yeah. And Is I your first vaccine, good. Rafa? No, it's my second dose. Okay. Wow. Well, so then it's okay. Maybe in two days, it's back to normal, just uh, today and tomorrow. I will be better. And in the first dose, did you have uh, effects? Do you have any problems? No. For no. the first dose, no, anything. Okay. No pain, no, okay. no fever, anything. Okay. But with this one, yes. Yes. And did you go to work? Yes. Oh. I have to go. Nah. You don't go. You have, you say, hey, hey I have the vaccine. I have the excuse. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, but it's for for my position in my work. I'm a support staff, so mm -hmm. I can. Rafa, where where do you work in Santa Ana? No, in San Salvador, in Concentrics. Ah, that's right, that's right. You told me before. Mm -hmm. And I'm from Santa Ana. I live here in Santa Ana. Ah, that's it. And every day you go to Santa Ana. Yes. Uh, uh, the the company give us uh, transportation. Ah, to Santa Ana. Yeah. Wow. Yes, from Santa Ana to San Salvador, and from San Salvador to Santa Ana. That's amazing because it's to to be honest, it's far. It's I mean, for the transportation is not cheap to go from San Salvador to Santa Ana. Yes, uh, it's a good it's a good company. Really, it's a good company. Okay, but Rafa, you in your job you speak English, right? Like your job is a call center technical support. No, uh, I'm a support. I'm a support staff uh, for Microsoft. Okay, so but I use a uh, typing only typing, more typing right? Than, more typing than uh, spoken. Okay, than speaking. Uh huh. Oh, so you're very good with computers. Yes. Okay. And what I have uh, uh, nine years working for Microsoft. Wow. A long time. Yeah. And what do you do? Are you a uh, support staff for Microsoft Office for uh, one other window? For all Microsoft, all, all Microsoft products, uh, Office, Windows, Surface, Xbox, for all the product, Microsoft products. Wow, that's that means you have to be, know a lot because they have a lot of products. Yeah. Mm. Well, I like it. It's a really good job. Okay. Oh, I'm glad. And I'm not sure where are the offices for Concentrics. What? Where are the offices? Is it like near Salvador de Mundo or? Ah, uh, it's in front of in front of Salvador of, uh, of Mundo. It's in the uh, next to Dell. Uh, next next where, where, to Telefonica Tower. Uh huh. It's the X uh, Dell building, right? Dell, Excel, right? Yeah, the Excel building. It. That's right. Now I remember. I remember now. Right. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, that's good, man. That's it's good opportunities for you. Always to yeah. work there. So uh, this is uh, uh, the reason why that I must study English because I need to improve my spoken skills. Okay. And what happens if you improve your spoken skills? Do you get a different position, a better position, uh, change accounts or what? 
uh, I can apply a better position, uh, for example, for a manager or as a supervisor. <clears throat> yeah, because nine years, poof, it's time to go to another place, right? Uh, more money. Yeah. Okay. Right now, I am a coach. It's got a, 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 the second position for an agent. Okay. Uh, okay. And that's good. Yes, it, it's good because I'm taking calls and taking chats. Uh, I'm only supporting my my, my agents. Okay. Do you only support the agents? It's like a team leader. Uh, like a team leader, but uh, my my responsibility is uh, the knowledge, uh, checking the knowledge for the for the agents. Okay. To make sure they do everything correctly. Yes. Okay. Okay. If, if they have a, a improved opportunity or anything, yeah, keep they updated about the Microsoft products, process, uh, everything about Microsoft. Yeah, I imagine always Microsoft has different things that they need to get done, right? Especially while the all the patches and updates that they do. Yes, uh, we have uh, updates about process every week. Okay. Well, so we we keep to have, we have to keep studying, learning. And with Microsoft, uh, every 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 week is different for really. Okay. Okay. But it's cool. It's cool. I like it. I really like it. Okay. I can Im I can imagine me in another account. <laughs> well, that's good because that's the idea, right? You you need to be. I think always it doesn't matter what you do, but you you should always be happy. You have to enjoy it. Yes, exactly. You always need to enjoy it and make sure that you feel good with what you do. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I enjoy it. I really enjoy it. Okay, that's good. That's the important part. Uh, since I was a child, I liked the computers. So when uh, they told me you go to Microsoft, I say, "Wow, Microsoft!" Yeah, that's good. That's a good opportunity. Yeah. Mm hmm. Very nice. Okay. For example, uh -huh. in uh, this uh, September twenty-two. Microsoft will launch a new computer uh, surface, a new surface. So we have to start it from now uh, to that day to keep it updated about the information. Oh, okay. So it's a lot it, it, because I imagine the same, right? Always there's a lot of questions. Hey, what's going on? What happens? What do we do <laughs> like that? This year, the Microsoft also will launch the new Windows, Windows 11. Oh, okay. Uh, this will be on November, November the 10th. Okay. So, a lot of things happening then. Yes. Okay, okay, good. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that, Rafa, that you're enjoying your job. You have great things. It's perfect. Good. I also see we have a lot of other people here today. That's good. We're going to go ahead and take a look at a little bit of what we were talking about yesterday. Yesterday, we were looking at the different tenses, past, present, and future, if you remember. And the idea today, we're going to continue. And here we have some expressions. Take a look. We have several different ways and expressions that we can use to talk about the past, present, or future. These are time, con sorry, these are called time contrasts. And we use them because that's the idea. There are specific things that to indicate to the listener the time. So for example, a goal always indicates past tense, right? We always have, for example, ED always indicates past tense. The same, will, or going to always indicates the future, things like that, okay? 
So first, let's watch the video and just remember a little bit about the things that they have. Hello everyone, before you watch our video, we want you to write on our discussion box expressions that you already know, which are used in the past, present and future. Time contrasts. Past. A few years ago, not many people lived here. Present. These days, the population is growing so fast. Future. Soon, there will be a lot of shopping malls. People used to shop at grocery stores. Today, people shop at supermarkets. In 20 years, people might buy groceries by computer. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, people drive their cars instead. In the future, people are going to use cars even more. We noticed you wrote some time expressions related to past, present, and future. Well done. Now let's talk a bit about time contrast. This helps us to talk about perhaps a same situation that we have lived over the years and we want to make reference since it happened, taking it to our present and imagining it in a future. The trick here is for us to use the verbs properly in its right tense along with time expressions. Let's go over the chart. In the first column, we talk about past and we use time expressions like a few years ago, or people used to, or 50 years ago, and our verbs are in past. We used lived and walked. Let's move on to the present, and here we use these days, today, or nowadays, and of course, our verbs are is growing, shop, and drive, which are in the present. Last but not least, we have our future using expressions such as soon, in 20 years, in the future. Therefore, we use verbs in future, will be, might buy, are going to use. Time contrast is easy to use, just double check on your verbs. Think about it as one sentence per tense. We will now give you more time expressions that you may use with each tense. Past expressions. At that time, in the past, then. Present expressions. Currently, in the meantime, now. Future expressions. In the next couple of years, next, in the near future. Now we want you to write a short description about how has your life changed using the expressions below. Make sure you do it and present it to your teacher to make sure you did it right. Okay, that final part is really the part that's in future. Focus on. And that's because that's going to give us the opportunity of exactly the things that we need to know. I'll take a few. Here we go. One second. Let's make sure that all of them are clear. Okay. Are these expressions okay for the past tense? Yes, it's okay. Yes. Yes, okay. I'm taking a picture, I'll put it into our chat to make sure that it's clear, right? And just in case the people are absent also. Okay. Okay. Okay, what about these? The ones for the present? Yes, it's okay. okay. <coughs> oh, too much. Okay. I think these are usually the future is pretty easy because we use a lot. Okay. And then, of course, as the things that we have to do, our task, our activity. Hang on, let me put it in there. So. As you can see, we have quite a few things, and today's main objective is a lot of speaking. We want to do a lot of speaking regarding these different things with the past, uh, the present, and the future. And then we're going to have all of them mixed together. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the parts where it says the past, at that time, in the past, and then. We're going to have a few minutes, and we're only going to talk about the things in the past. How was your childhood, where you went to high school, your school, your neighborhood, your parents, your friends, whatever you want, but only about the things in the past. It's okay? It's okay. 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 
let's get an example. So for example, uh, we'll say, ah, when I was uh, a teenager, I lived in Santa Ana, or I used to go to, a, I don't know, Walter Soundy uh, for school, things like that, right? Uh, I used to play video games with my friends, or I went to, to the park with my uh, mother and father on the weekends, whatever it is that you did, but exclusively in the past. The most important and probably the most difficult part is giving details because I don't want you to have a shopping list. I don't want you to tell me, ah, sentence, sentence, sentence. No, a sentence and what you did. So for example, is not correct, is not correct. I used to go to the supermarket. I went to Walter Soundy. I studied English. No, this is a list. I want you to express yourself, okay? And make sure we give details. Okay. Yes? Okay. Okay. Understood. Perfect. Let's try it with our partners. Only the past. Only the past. Hello everyone, before you watch our video, we want you to write on our discussion box expressions that you already know, which are used in the past, present, and future. Time contrasts. Past. A few years ago, not many people lived here. Present. These days, the population is growing so fast. Future. Soon, there will be a lot of shopping malls. People used to shop at grocery stores. Today, people shop at supermarkets. In 20 years, people might buy groceries by computer. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, people drive their cars instead. In the future, people are going to use cars even more. We noticed you wrote some time expressions related to past, present, and future. Well done. Now let's talk a bit about time contrast. This helps us to talk about perhaps a same situation that we have lived over the years, and we want to make reference since it happened, taking it to our present and imagining it in a future. The trick here is for us to use the verbs properly in its right tense along with time expressions. Let's go over the chart. In the first column, we talk about past and we use time expressions like a few years ago, or people used to, or 50 years ago, and our verbs are in past. We used lived and walked. Let's move on to the present, and here we use these days, today, or nowadays, and of course, our verbs are is growing, shop, and drive, which are in the present. Last but not least, we have our future using expressions such as soon, in 20 years, in the future. Therefore, we use verbs in future. Will be, might buy, are going to use. Time contrast is easy to use, just double check on your verbs. Think about it as one sentence per tense. We will now give you more time expressions that you may use with each tense. Past expressions. At that time, in the past, then. Present expressions. Currently, in the meantime, now. Future expressions. In the next couple of years. Next, in the near future. Now we want you to write a short description about how has your life changed using the expressions below. Make sure you do it and present it to your teacher to make sure you did it right. Ready to work on pronunciation? 
Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. Pronunciation. Intonation in statements with time phrases. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. In the past, very few people used computers. Today, people use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Can you now complete these statements with your own information? Read the statements to your teacher. As a child, I used to. Two years ago, I. In five years, I. All right, I'm glad we're back. Let's find out. Maria, what did you find out about your partner? What did he say? You're, you're on mute. You're on mute, Maria. What, my, what did my partner say? Yes. What did your partner Me? say? Me to, to her? No, no. No, her. Them to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> she, <clears throat> she told me that when... She was a child. She liked uh, to uh, ride a bike and, and went to the beach with her family. They liked to, to drink um, bread and lemonade. To and, and she. To drink, Maria? Okay. They liked to drink. Uh, okay, they like to drink lemonade, mm -hmm. lemonade and eat and eat bread and to eat bread, bread with bread. Okay, and she liked to she liked to go with her family to eat pupusas uh, at the uh, Redondelma Ferrer. Okay, when, when she was. A child. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, Maria. Good. Who was your partner, Maria? What? Who? My my partner. Yes. Ana Pineda. Okay. Ana, tell me what did Maria say? I'm not very good in memory, but she she told me that she used to walk to her job when he was young. When she and was young. When she was sorry, when she was young, she was thinner. And I just remember that. <laughs> Sorry. Ay, Ana, ya, the partner speaking. No importa. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, I think that it's, it's too difficult. It's, for me, it's difficult to express my idea. I think that. Okay. No problem. No problem. Yes, sometimes it's difficult to express and difficult to remember all of the things the partner says. Okay, good. Henry, tell me about you and your partner. Okay, my partner is mm -hmm. Rafa, and Rafa saved me. That okay. he told me that he missed when he was a a teen a teenager because teenager. teenager teenager because he don't have more responsibility. He, and he didn't have. He didn't have more responsibility and he didn't have to, to work. And now he, he had to work, pay bills, uh, pay the, the house and other things that when we are, when we are kids or teen, teen, teen girls, mm -hmm. we don't have to, to sing in that. We are, the, the life is easier when we are child. Okay. All right. Good, Henry. Good. Rafa, tell me, what did Henry say? Uh, 
there's a, uh, this time that I think uh, he also missed uh, when I he, uh, when I he, when he was a teenager mm -hmm. because uh, when he was a teenager he don't have, he didn't have uh, responsibilities how to pay bills uh, the same thing that that he said and also uh, she told uh, he told me that he when i when i when he was a child he lived in mexicanos but then uh, but now now he live in uh, san juan Pico. okay all right good Rafa. thank you very much brenda what did your partner say Gabriela. Uh, Gabriela, uh, she is a uh, until uh, she lived in Santa Ana, and the last year she celebrated the birthday. Oh, only that, Brenda. Uh, yeah, I don't remember the the, the more information. <laughs> I don't listen to my partner. Okay, I understand. I understand. <laughs> All right, Gabby, tell me what did oh. Brenda say? Um. Well, Brenda said that um, last year in February, uh, she celebrated her son's birthday, and they really passed a, a good time because all the family met and met i think and also she told me that christmas was very important for her when he was a, when she was a child because of the present and because of all the love they feel in this in the celebrity but um today it's very hard for the family to to get together Okay. All right. Good. Very good. Okay. Ivania, who was your partner? My partner is Mirna. Okay. Tell me what about Mirna. What did she say? I'm sorry, teacher. I cannot spread myself because, because I feel difficult. <laughs> That's okay. That's why you try. What did Mirna speak or, or no, Ivania? And um, yes, yes, me and I speak. Okay. Tell me what you remember. Tell me what you remember. It's okay. You are going to make mistakes. No problem. This is not a problem. That's why you come to class to practice, to make the mistakes. Okay. Um, I remember the um, help, help uh, your mother. Her mother? Mm -hmm. Your mother. Uh -huh. Her yeah. mother. Her mother. Mm -hmm. Only. And what did she do to help her mother? Did she cook? Did she clean? What What did she do, Mirna? Ivania? Uh, sorry. Um, repeat, please. Yes. How? How did she help her mother? by cooking, by cleaning, by uh, washing clothes? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I know. Um, I know. Pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ivania. <laughs> Thank you for being honest. All right. Not like the other partners. I don't, I don't remember. I have a bad memory teacher. Mm. Thank you for being honest, Ivania. Very good. Good. Mirna, tell me about your partner. Teacher, we almost don't speak with my partner. <laughs> Chambration, something else, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, teacher. Sorry, okay. teacher. No problem, no problem. Now we have another opportunity. Okay. Now okay. we're Thanks. going to go. Yes, no problem. Okay. Now we're going to have another chance with our partners. Okay, and the idea with our partners now is only the present, only the present. 
So what does that mean? That means now you're talking about your routine. What do you do? Your job, your life, uh, on Saturdays, weekdays, all of the things. As an example, me, uh, now I wake up uh, early at four or five o'clock in the morning. I do homework for my university. I work as an English teacher. I have to give many classes. And you only explain just like that, right? For example, the routines on Saturdays, no, on Sundays, I usually go to eat with my daughter. We usually go to have breakfast together. And for lunch with my family, uh, we almost always, and you explain just the different things. It's okay? Teacher, I have a question. Yes, tell me. Okay, it's, it's about the, the past tense with my partner. Yes. Okay, Anna told me that, he, that she likes to play escondelero, but I don't know. <laughs> How do you say in English? No, that's what? right. It's pronunciation is hide, hide and seek. seek. Okay, hide and seek. Yes, oh, that's and seek. good. Mm -hmm. Hide and seek. Anna, Anna Pineda likes to play hide and seek. Yes, when she was a child. Ah, okay. She has, Four. She has had a, a very fun childhood. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. good. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right. So now with our partners in the present, in the present. Hello everyone, before you watch our video, we want you to write on our discussion box expressions that you already know, which are used in the past, present, and future. Time contrasts. Past. A few years ago, not many people lived here. Present. These days, the population is growing so fast. Future. Soon, there will be a lot of shopping malls. People used to shop at grocery stores. Today, people shop at supermarkets. In 20 years, people might buy groceries by computer. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, people drive their cars instead. In the future, people are going to use cars even more. We noticed you wrote some time expressions related to past, present, and future. Well done. Now let's talk a bit about time contrast. This helps us to talk about perhaps a same situation that we have lived over the years, and we want to make reference since it happened, taking it to our present and imagining it in a future. The trick here is for us to use the verbs properly in its right tense along with time expressions. Let's go over the chart. In the first column, we talk about past and we use time expressions like a few years ago, or people used to, or 50 years ago, and our verbs are in past. We used lived and walked. Let's move on to the present, and here we use these days, today, or nowadays, and of course, our verbs are is growing, shop, and drive, which are in the present. Last but not least, we have our future using expressions such as soon, in 20 years, in the future. Therefore, we use verbs in future. Will be, might buy, are going to use. Time contrast is easy to use, just double check on your verbs. Think about it as one sentence per tense. We will now give you more time expressions that you may use with each tense. Past expressions, at that time, in the past, then, Present expressions, currently, in the meantime, now. Future expressions, in the next couple of years, next, in the near future. Now we want you to write a short description about how has your life changed using the expressions below. Make sure you do it and present it to your teacher to make sure you did it right. Hello 
everyone, before you watch our video, we want you to write on our discussion box expressions that you already know, which are used in the past, present, and future. Time contrasts. Past. A few years ago, not many people lived here. Present. These days, the population is growing so fast. Future. Soon, there will be a lot of shopping malls. People used to shop at grocery stores. Today, people shop at supermarkets. In 20 years, people might buy groceries by computer. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, people drive their cars instead. In the future, people are going to use cars even more. We noticed you wrote some time expressions related to past, present, and future. Well done. Now let's talk a bit about time contrast. This helps us to talk about perhaps a same situation that we have lived over the years and we want to make reference since it happened, taking it to our present and imagining it in a future. The trick here is for us to use the verbs properly in its right tense along with time expressions. Let's go over the chart. In the first column, we talk about past and we use time expressions like a few years ago, or people used to, or 50 years ago, and our verbs are in past. We used lived and walked. Let's move on to the present, and here we use these days, today, or nowadays, and of course, our verbs are is growing, shop, and drive, which are in the present. Last but not least, we have our future using expressions such as soon, in 20 years, in the future. Therefore, we use verbs in future. We'll be okay, so now that we're remembering and we're using all of those things, let's take a look one more time. Talk about the partners. Gabby, what did your partner say? What do they do? Um, okay, my partner was Maria. And she told me that uh, she has six kids and the little one has have 12 years. Okay, remember, she also told me. Remember, when we talk about age, no has. This is Spanish. Oh, she, she is, is. Is, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Um, she also told me that he drives Home, uh, drives work, but uh, she usually get nervous because of the traffic and all the responsibility. Um, well, uh, she told me that he's very happy. She is very happy with her child, children, and that's it. Okay, all right, good. Maria, what did your partner say? Okay, my partner was Gabby. Uh, she told me that she lives in San Salvador. She, she has to, to travel by Soyapango. She works in Soyapango and she travels almost by one hour to arrive to her, her job. And she lives in Santa Ana. She take a bus. Uh, she travel uh, three three times in the in the week. I, I understand this. That okay. Uh, she travel by bus because um, the the car is 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 the is the, the her family is her family is the, the owner. Okay. Uh, she doesn't have a own um, car, okay? And uh, she works that um, maybe in an administrator room. I, I remember that. Okay, all right. Okay, and she, she um, I wake up to the to 6.30 a.m. and she went to the, she, wa, she, she goes, goes, she goes to the work and she arrived to the. Good, Maria. Uh, but Maria, remember, 
when you talk about the third person is always with s remember to yes. she goes she wakes she goes she drives okay. she okay. arrives okay mm -hmm. she arrives to the job at uh, 7 30 a.m okay. and this day she uh, she left the her job at three um three and a half because the traffic 30 okay 3 30 okay because the traffic was terrible uh, because <laughs> this day is uh, the play of the selection and it's okay. Difficult. okay okay good that's good very nice very nice excellent maria henry tell me about your partner uh i don't remember the name of my partner i i, I don't know why but I think that it's because the, the camera was, was off and then I didn't see the, the person. And now I try to remember the name, but I don't have a, a photo to, to, to say that ah, she's, but I don't remember who is. Uh, is your partner a man or a woman, Henry? A woman. A woman. Okay. Who was Henry's partner? Uh, she, she told me, or she told me that mm -hmm. she get up around 6 a.m. and she she go to the war remember the same the same goes always with s she goes oh yeah mm -hmm. she goes to the work around 8 a.m. and she's a public account accountant mm -hmm. and she make the contability of uh, travels like like the the taxis in in Ministry of Public. I don't remember the, the name of the of the place, but she she told me that. Okay, okay, good. I think that was Gabby, right? Gabby, were you Henry's partner? No, I were Maria's partner. Oh, that's right. My so who was who was Henry's partner? I teacher. Hi, <laughs> Mirna. Okay, okay, Mirna. I remember that that was Maria. Okay. <laughs> I remember something about Henry. <laughs> mm -hmm. He gets up six or seven o'clock. He goes around the park with his dog. He helps at um, uh, the house and wash dishes and he cleans his room. In the afternoon, he plays soccer or basketball and he goes to bed night or 10 p.m. Okay. Okay, good. That's good. Very nice. Okay, good. Rafa, tell me about your partner. Hello, teacher. Do you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Go ahead, Rafa. Uh, okay. My partner is uh, Maria. Maria told me that uh, she works at uh, Creo Inversiones. And uh, she told me about uh, her routine, and she, her daily routine. Uh, she arrives at, at her work at a, around 8 a.m. Uh, then uh, when she gave up after the eight hours that uh, all we, the the most of people of us uh, work, she uh, um, she go to uh, she she arrive at her home, uh, study, uh, make the make the homeworks. Uh, make, uh, she make the homeworks. She does. She and does her homework. He does her her, home, her homeworks uh, and take the class. And after he asked for she take the class, mm -hmm. she she take the class. Uh, uh, she get the dinner, and has she got her sleep. Excuse. She has dinner. She has dinner, and mm -hmm. uh, she got to sleep after. It that. goes. Remember the end. Goes. Yes. Okay. It goes. Good, good, good. All right, tell me about Rafa. 
Uh, Rafa wakes up at 4 a.m. He dress up and takes uh, over to Metro Centro Santa Ana and he gets the transportation for his works. He arrives his work at 6 a.m. and he works around 10 hours in a call center. And then he leaves work at 5 p.m. And in, in his house, he took his classes and then he eats his dinner and goes to sleep. Good, remember, he takes, because it's the routine, he takes. takes. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, good. Ivania? Okay, my partner, uh, my partner are um, Johnny and Brenda. Um, Brenda, I, you usually go to the visit, go to the market um, Saturday on Sunday. Okay, remember, she, she, she usually okay. goes, goes. Mm -hmm. uh, she goes, um, usually the mark, usually she goes um, Saturday or Sunday. Um, Jenny usually on Saturday visit the market. Um, I don't remember. <laughs> okay, no problem, no problem. Jenny, give us more information. Brenda, give us more information. Add information. I'm sorry. Excuse me. My partners is Brenda and Carla. Jenny, Brenda. Jenny, can you speak closer to the microphone? It's, it's very soft. Excuse me. Okay, teacher. Uh, can you guys hear her? Yes. 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 Okay. Go ahead, Jenny. More or less. Uh huh. Okay. It's a little soft, Jenny. Okay, my classmate Brenda and Carla. She told me goes to work every day. She goes to the supermarket and Saturday in the afternoon. She she made the dinner. She washes. She makes. Dishes. She makes dinner. Makes. She makes the dinner. She wash the dishes. Washes. Washes. Yes. Um, only that, teacher. Okay. All right. Brenda, what about you? What did you know? My brother is Jenny and Carla. Jenny, uh, she goes to the work every day. Uh, she visits the supermarket one day a week. Uh, usually on Sunday because uh, she returns uh, uh, very late uh, at the home and at the, uh, the time she cleans the, the house. Okay. Okay, very good, very good. Who are we missing? I think, Anna, I think we're missing you, right? You and your partner? Yes, because I am late. Uh, okay, okay, no problem. Okay, All right, guys, now let's go ahead with our partners. And now we're going to be looking at the future, right? We're going to be talking about all of the things for the future. What are you planning on doing? Is going to or will, things like that, okay? So remember, now we're looking for the future after the course in five years when you graduate all of the different with your english whatever you think about for the future it's okay okay it's okay
Carla, you okay? You having some problems? Okay. Ready to work on pronunciation? Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. Pronunciation. Intonation in statements with time phrases. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. In the past, very few people used computers. Today, People use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Can you now complete these statements with your own information? Read the statements to your teacher. As a child, I used to. Two years ago, I. In five years, I. Hi, we're about to study conditional sentences. A conditional sentence is formed by a possible situation and a consequence. Pay attention to the audio program for more explanation. Conditional sentences with if clauses. Possible situation plus simple present. If you get a high paying job. Consequence plus future with will, may, or might. You won't have to work as hard. If you get a high paying job, you won't have to work as hard. If you don't have to work as hard, you'll have a lot more free time. If you have a lot more free time, you might get bored. If you get bored, you may have to look for another job. The first conditional is a structured used for talking about possibilities in the present or the future. We will explain you how this conditional is formed and when it is used. When we talk about this conditional, which is called first conditional, by the way, we will divide it in two parts, if clause and main clause. In conditional, we use the word if. So we say, if I study, I will pass my exam. Follow me in the structure. If clause, if plus subject plus verb in simple present. Main clause, subject plus will plus verb. Let's work on more examples. If you save money, you will go on a trip. If she speaks English, she will have a better job. If we exercise, we will be healthy. All of these examples show a possibility of what might happen if. I will give you some possible situations. Try to give me your consequence using the structure learned. Don't forget to write them on our discussion box. If you study English, if you lose your job, if you have children, don't forget to write your consequence using the future will, may, or might.
Okay, good. Any questions for the future with going to or will? No. No, this is usually the easiest one, right? It's usually easy to remember that I, I only use going to <laughs> and going to, and then it's easy to remember. <laughs> the more you or will. Or will, yes. The, the most difficult to remember is the past, the verbs, ah, the irregular, the regular, the pronunciation, right? The auxiliary. The auxiliaries, exactly. The auxiliaries. exactly. Now we're going to try and we're going to see if we understood the idea for today's lesson using the three tenses, past, present, or future. This is 4.4. So in 4.4, wow. the first sentence is <clears throat> for the automobile. Oh, look, which one do you think is correct? Before the automobile. The automobile. People didn't travel as much from city to city. Okay. Because the, the distance. Okay, yeah, because of the distance, right? Yes. Okay, what about number two? Before there were supermarkets. Before there were supermarkets. People used to shop at small stores. Small stores. Yes. Okay, good, good idea. Okay. About here, about 500 years ago. Um, most people are people going to work, work more than home. 40 hours a week. No, no, no. no. Really is the the most people are going to work at home. I, I searched the answer in Google because the first the first time when people play golf was five hundred years, years ago. ago. Yes. So that's the, the right answer. Oh, okay, people play golf. First game of golf. Okay, all right, we'll see. We'll find out in a moment. What about number four? In most offices today. Uh, people work more than uh, 40 hours a week a week. Okay. Okay. Here. In many cities nowadays. That's now. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Delicious is becoming, becoming a serious, serious problem. problem. Okay. okay. Good. What about soon? Doctors like might find a cure for the common cold. Okay. In the next hundred years. Most people are going to work. There will probably be cities in space. <laughs> Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. And sometime in the future? No, that one is the space, mate. Yes. This one is the space. Yes. Agree. So there will probably be cities in space. Like the supersonic. And then this one in the next hundred years? <laughs> Most people are going to work at home. Okay, most people are going to work at home. I, I seen that is is the is in Zoom there because now people is working at home, and in a near future, more people is going to to work at home. So I so think that do you is think in Zoom? Mm -hmm. In Zoom is. Uh, most people are going to work at home in Zoom. Yeah. Okay. Because okay. what do you think in the next hundred years? Siri. Doctor might find. Doctors might find. Okay. Doctor might find the cure of the common cold. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's see how we did. Exactly. Hey. Wow. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> You see, that was the correct answers, okay? So we have all of them. If people didn't travel as much from city to city. People used to shop at small stores. 
people play the first game of golf. People work more than 40 hours a week. Pollution is becoming a serious problem. People are going to work at home. Doctors might find a cure for the common cold and there will probably be cities in space. Very nice. Okay. Good. Now we're going to go on with our pronunciation. Here it's just, it's nothing difficult. It's only listen to how they pronounce the words. Here it's just listening to the pronunciation. Ready to work on pronunciation? Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. Pronunciation. Intonation in statements with time phrases. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. In the past, very few people used computers. Today, people use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Can you now complete these statements with your own information? Read the statements to your teacher. As a child, I used to. Two years ago, I. In five years, I. Okay. So, I think more than anything, in that case, that one was just a little bit about the pronunciation and making sure we have the correct statements. Before we go, are there any questions about today? Do you remember how to use the past, the present, the future? Yes. <clears throat> yes. Okay. Remember, the most important is to review the verbs in the past. You need, you must have a, a manage of the past and the past perfect. Those two, so the verbs in past and past participle, you need in order to have more vocabulary and be able to express yourself. In the present, remember always to use S or the auxiliary with S. For example, she doesn't, he doesn't, right? Or the ing, she is, he is working on, playing, doing these things. Okay. All right. Tomorrow we're going to continue and we're going to see if you remember everything at the beginning. Oh, no. Tomorrow. No, on no, Sunday. Yes, yes. Next Sunday. So please, in the weekend, remember, complete up to unit three and the exam and the exam because then okay. we have next week unit to finish unit four okay 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 hey, teacher. Okay, teacher. all right guys thank you so much have a great night thank you for coming bye. have a good night thanks teacher bye bye, bye. 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 Good, good weekend. Happy you weekend. too have a good weekend bye bye thank you bye bye